Egypt's day of rage and the launch of a revolution. Millions of people from all over the country take to the streets. They are cutting, they are cutting Hosni Mubarak. Fed up with the corrupt regime of Hosni Mubarak. In Alexandria, journalist Mohammed Abdel Fattah is in the thick of it. The demonstrators are emboldened by the resignation of Tunisian President Ben Ali and by a powerful rallying cry on Facebook summoning them to the streets in the name of Khalid Saeed. Saeed is a 28-year-old Egyptian who was beaten to death six months earlier by police. Mohammed discovers that Saeed was planning to release an incriminating video showing police dealing in drugs, a possible motive for his death. He gets hold of the video and posts it on his website. He then interviews eyewitnesses to the brutal attack. They were smashing his head into the railing of the stairs, the banister. Then they took Khalid away, kept beating him, and when they came back with him, he was dead. Mohammed's video goes viral. Egypt has almost 9 million Facebook users, and the outrage spills onto the streets. A few months later, Mohammed hears of another suspicious death at the same police station in Alexandria. 19-year-old Ahmed Shaban's battered body is found days after an altercation with police. Mohammed conducts a harrowing interview with the boy's family and friends and posts it online. They are afraid from repeating the public case of Khalid Saeed when they found that he died because of all the beating. Amnesty International demands Egyptian authorities investigate. Anger over deaths like these fuels the rage gripping Egyptians. In January, it reaches a boiling point and millions hit the streets. Mohammed joins protesters in his hometown, Alexandria. He's part of a crowd that runs into a building for safety. We were tear gas, there were people suffocating. I was scared at that time. He tweets what's happening. That's the place where we were entrapped. There was over 60 people. And we ran up the stairs and we were grabbed by some police officers. He arrested everyone. Mohammed is held overnight with no charges laid. Mohammed Abdel Fattah is uh, on our phone. On his release, on he describes to Western to media the change that's sweeping his country. I'm 24 years old, and I have only heard about these numbers in my history textbook. We, we haven't seen these numbers before, and people from all walks of life have been walking fearlessly um, uh, on the streets, chanting against Mubarak, asking him to leave power. After 18 days of violent protest, Vice President Omar Suleiman announces Mubarak's resignation. Millions of Egyptians explode with joy. Egypt holds its first round of parliamentary elections next week, and Mohammed will be covering them. He's optimistic about his country's future. All of this generation is trying to work hard for a better future for the country, democratize the country, um, democratize the state. Um, we we're all having this role of journalism as uh, holding the government accountable to the public opinion, revealing the mistakes of government, uh, revealing their uh, violations. It is because of the work by young journalists and bloggers like Mohammed Abdel Fattah that change is sweeping the Middle East. Mohammed Abdel Fattah, recipient of the International Press Freedom Award.